Howdy guys, welcome to the cave. I'm Mark, and you're watching Blue Street Customs. Hey guys, welcome back. So, first episode of this series, I have to, uh, Pull off one of the rotors so that I can bring it into the auto parts store because there's two different sizes of front rotors for this thing and they need to measure to see which one it is that I need. So this one's going to be probably a bit of a short episode. I'm going to pull off the front wheel, pull off the caliper, pull off the rotor, and then just throw the wheel back on so that, you know, it doesn't fall on the ground or anything like that in case it rains. So let's get to it. I've got my uh, tire bench set up over here so I can sit down. I'm not sitting on the grass. Well, if you can see this, I've already checked this stuff out already. Whoever had it before really didn't take care of this vehicle in the aspects of changing the preventive maintenance parts. Now, you can see here, the tie rod is moving. The steering linkage is not. So this outer tie rod is going to have to get changed. That's at a later date. I'm ordering all the parts tomorrow. Rotors are in real bad shape and so are the brake pads. So I'm going to take all of this off and like I said I'm going to bring this in so they can measure it and then I can get all those parts and do the next episode for you. So let's get to it here. Now out here in New Brunswick we are pretty much right next to the ocean, a lot of salt water air, and uh, of course our winters, we use salt on the road. Stuff gets rusty, gets very corroded, so hopefully a lot of this stuff isn't uh, going to be too hard to take apart. Probably not much chance of that. So give me a minute, I'll be right back. Okay, well I had to go get the, uh, the old strong arm here. Hopefully this will be enough. You can really see how much that tie rod is done. Definitely going to be changed. Just trying to spread the caliper open a bit so it's not grind, uh, grabbing too tightly. Everything is so rusted it's hard to grab properly. At least those seem to be well greased. They came out fairly nicely. I know the caliper's not seized because I just spread it, spread it open a bit. So I'll have to get a ratchet strap or something to hold that up. There you go. Look how bad the, it's all rusted. This is supposed to be steel. And it's just garbage. Nothing left of the pad. Wearing a little uneven. So I'll have to make sure these things are greased. These slide pins. Because they're not uh, not sliding evenly. This is right down to the brake pad steel. There's no pad left right here. This side here isn't wearing as easy or as much. So again, I'm going to check, clean all these slides, make sure they're all sliding properly. Now to take the caliper bracket off, Let's see what size this is. 18 it is. A little strong arm back on here. You know, the main thing around here with all this rust, when you're taking stuff apart, you hope nothing is completely seized and you end up snapping a bolt, then you got bigger problems. These here actually came apart quite nicely. Need an extension. But since they broke free real nice and they're spinning out nicely, we're in good shape. Now, hopefully I can say the same thing about the other side. Now, with this being as rusty as it is, good chance I'm going to have to beat on this thing just to get it out of there. I always try to put my bolts back in. 
This way I don't lose anything. And there is a cement block and wood under here. So I'm not relying just on the jack to keep this vehicle up. And just as I thought. So I'm going to go get a big hammer. Give me a few minutes. I'll be right back. Hey right, guys. I don't see any screws in here. That would be uh, holding the rotor onto the hub. Some vehicles have that. So make sure you check for it. Well, that came off a lot easier than I expected. Look at that. Nothing left of the rotor. Look at the rust. Nothing but rust. Garbage. So before I put the new rotor on, obviously I'm going to clean this surface. I've already checked the wheel bearing. The wheel bearing is good. The axle is good. Inner tie rod is good. Strut is good. So I'm going to have to change this tie rod, like I said. So I'm going to spray this bolt and this nut back here with some penetrating oil and let it sit until I get uh, get the part. Hopefully that will make it a little easier to, to change out. Now I've also checked the brake lines. Brake lines all seem good. There's no cracks, no nothing. That'll pass inspection. The shock's not leaking. There's a strut. It's not leaking. It's not rusted. So that'll pass all inspection. This uh, one axle, the band on it that holds the rubber boot on, it's actually still got its gold anodizing, which means that axle has been changed not too long ago. Rubber boots are good. They're not cracked. There's no slop in the axle at all. So there has been some maintenance done to this vehicle, just not a whole hell of a lot. So I think uh, for now, that's going to be good enough because that's all I need so that the uh, auto parts store can measure that up and give me the right one. I don't know if this is the small one or the big one. I'm assuming it's a small one because this car has rear drum brakes. I'm assuming that the bigger rotor would be a four-wheel disc brake vehicle. So, make sure to uh, leave some comments down below. I don't know if we're going to customize this vehicle at all. Maybe sometime in the future. But make sure to uh, like, share, and subscribe. And hit that bell notification so you can get notified when I post more videos about this project or some of the other projects that I'm doing. Go check out uh, the addition I'm building. There should be a playlist here. Check out my Instagram and my Facebook. Links are in the description. So until then, later.